just outside of Lewistown in these gorgeous mountains, there hides an interesting secret. And if you want to come out for a hike, then you should join me in the ice caves. Formed over millions of years by slow water deposits dripping through the cracks in the rocks, these ice caves stay frozen year round, no matter the temperature. Nestled in the Big Snowy's mountain range, the ice caves can be a bit of a chore to get to. You do have a couple options though. Campsites at Crystal Lake are at the base of the trail. While Crystal Lake is seasonal and dries out late in the summer, earlier in the year it can be a great place to cool off between hikes. You also have the option of camping on trail or completing as a day hike using either a 5 mile there and back trail or a 12 mile loop. Be cautious, there's no water on trail, so bring at least two liters per person, but honestly a lot more if you're going to be doing backcountry camping. With over 2,000 feet of elevation gain in the first two and a half miles, it is a pretty steep trail, so make sure you're in decent shape, bring some good shoes. The landscape changes from lush forest to broken, jagged shell. You might just see quite a bit of wildlife out there as well, as this is truly a wilderness area. When you get to the caves, it's a narrow opening to get in, but they are amazing. Make sure to bring a flashlight. Welcome to the ice caves. Now the reason these caves even exist is kind of interesting. When I went up there, it was 90 degrees outside, but still frozen inside. This is because they keep that cold air in since it's heavier than the warm air outside. So the opening of the cave has to be above. The ice caves are at the midpoint of the trail, basically no matter how you go at it. So on your way down, you're gonna have the chance to see some amazing views. Even on a smoky day, it's pretty. But when it's clear, you can see from Canada all the way to Wyoming. The ice caves and the trail associated with it are more than worth the effort if you're able to do it. It's easily one of my favorite trails in the state and I will definitely be going back. I hope you get out there to see it as well. Just outside of Lewistown, I'm James Rowland, MTN News.